Right then, this is Explosive Breaker by Kaneko. Uh, the same guys that did the Jackie Chan game I showed you the other day. Anyway, these are ships. Um, as you can tell, they all have different attack styles. Uh, they all actually look quite nice. They've got interesting character portraits at the bottom. I like being Mai, although she only has one eye but looks things. Come to her left eye. This bit's always fucking crazy as fuck. Like, you jump out of space and this big demon comes up and you just get attacked by the first level boss immediately. Uh, this is actually a very early manic style shoot em up. Um, there's lots of shit flying towards you and it's very very difficult. What you're seeing here is me playing the game for the first time in a very very long time. Um, old view viewers of my uh, old account would actually know that this is actually one of the first reviews I did on one of my old accounts. Um, it wasn't one of my first video reviews mind you, but you know, it was definitely one of the first to, to, for me to put on YouTube anyway. As you can see, uh, this game is crazy as fuck. Uh, there's lots of shit flying towards you, there are only two buttons, uh, shoot and bomb. Um, the enemies are very well designed, uh, there's not that much enemy repetition actually between the levels. Uh, it's actually a very very nice game, although but it is a bit rough around the edges, you're about to see why in a minute. Um, the graphics and sound are very very well done, uh, especially for the time, and oh my god, digitalized helicopter in space! You can tell Kaneko basically got their digitalized camera uh, software at this point because uh, they start putting digitalized stuff in every one of their games. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, after you def defeat the first part of that uh, thing, you get this sprite fucking demon thing attached to the fucking helicopter and he starts lobbing all kinds of crazy shit at you. And if you've not played the game in a long time, you're just going to get your ass handed to you like I just did there. Damn! Anyway, um, I decided to go with Nigel, the spread gun expert, and uh, yeah, you'll notice that this time I've got a different demon chasing after me, and uh, and my gun is piss poor. <laughs> Definitely not as imposing as mine. But yeah, anyway, the first boss still attacks me out of the blue, but you'll notice that each of the levels are basically, well, then I wouldn't say they're completely random, but they are different. Um, every time you play, which is good. Um, oh, and here it comes, what you've all been waiting for, the digitalized train of space with a demon attached to the bottom of it. I mean, how the fuck am I supposed to dodge that? Seriously. God damn it. So, yeah, what else can I say about this game? Oh, yeah, the presentation. The presentation of this game is actually very, very good. Uh, the enemy designs very good, um, although the levels do tend to get quite cheap later on, like people cheap shotting you from behind and stuff. Hence the reason why I like being my more is because uh, her shots go from the back then shoot forward again, so you've got that brief second where she protects herself from behind. Uh, stop any enemy robots penetrating her! Yeah, okay, that's a bad joke, and oh shit, it's my arch nemesis, the fucking helicopter again. And yes, this thing is still quite annoying, even with my spread gun. It fires out so much crap. Wait, come on, how the fuck was I supposed to dodge that? So yeah, if you like challenging shoot em ups, um, this game's definitely for you. It's also one of the most bizarre shoot 'em ups I've ever played, purely because it just randomly throws in digitalized photos into the mix. Uh, seriously, you'll probably piss yourself laughing a few times while playing this, actually. Oh yeah, and I actually did complete this game, although I'm not going to show it all here. Uh, the game loops around twice. <laughs> the first time uh, you fight the boss, you don't see all of its forms the second time you do. And let me tell you, I was really rusty at this game, so that's the reason why you're not seeing the full playthrough, because you're basically just going to see me die time after time after time. I've already taken a continue, I'm still on fucking stage one. <laughs> so yeah, uh, 
I would be showing you the entire playthrough, I'm afraid, gents. But, uh, yeah, after you defeat the boss, he flies away and a human head surrounded by stuff just floats away. As you do. This game is seriously fucking weird. Anyway, uh, the controls are solid, the weapons are pretty solid, each of the characters have their own unique feel and theme. Uh, the graphics and presentation are very good. Um, I feel this is a game, it's, it's not exactly a hidden gem, it's kind of underappreciated. This game is actually fairly fun to play. Um, it's one of those games that you can definitely enjoy, uh, even on a very casual level. Um, even if it's just to see these digitalized uh, bosses just float across the screen and just to see what happens next, you know, because this game just has so much crazy and random crap in there, it's excellent in that respect. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend checking out this game, Explosive Breaker. Um, it's one of those kind of games that you can definitely get some enjoyment out of, especially if you like shoot-em-ups.